Hello and welcome back to PA Academy. So this is the uh, method two on how to draw a decagon when given the length of the sides. So when we talk about a decagon, a decagon is a polygon with 10 sides. So all the sides and the decagon we are talking about is a regular decagon. Remember when they say something is a regular polygon, that means all the sides are equal. If you are talking about just a decagon, that means be regular decagon, that means all the sides can just be of different lengths. That's when you can have you know something random like this, different length and so on. So you have 10 sides. But when we say regular decagon, that means all the sides are equal. So I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead to draw it using another method. In the uh, part one of this video, I showed you one method where we use what we use mostly was the protractor. So if you miss that part, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. But let's get into this video how to draw a decagon. This is the method two. So before we go into this video proper, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please take our time to click on the subscribe button below. It's absolutely free to subscribe, it won't cost you anything. Just click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. And let me know in the comment section below if you've subscribed. So just comment with something like, I've subscribed and I'm going to reply you. So in, in drawing this decagon, we are going to be using a side of 4 cm. So let's say the side, I mean the length of the side is 4 cm. And that's what we are going to be using. So the first thing I'm going to do is to draw a line of 4 cm, which represents one of the sides. So from here to here represents 4 cm. So I also extend it with a faint line to the left. So this part that is 4 cm, so this let's call this line AB. So this is one of the sides, and let's indicate 4 cm. So it's also important to note that irrespective of the length that you are giving, the step is still the same thing. So if you are giving any other length apart from 4 cm, just follow the same step and you are going to achieve the same result. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to measure 4 cm on our compass. So pick your compass and measure 4 cm. Now you place it on point A. And on that point A, you draw a semicircle. So you are going to be having a semicircle like this. So the next thing we have to do is we have to bring in our protractor. You place it on point A. So bring in your protractor and place it on point A. So another reason why I extended this line is so that when we place our protractor, we can make sure that this point 0 and point 180 is resting on the line. So that's another reason why I extended this line. So once you place your protractor on point A, so it's important to make sure it's properly placed. So this angle 180, we are going to divide it into 10 equal parts. 10 equal parts. And in dividing it into 10 equal parts, if you look at it as 180 degrees divided by 10, that will give us 18 degrees. So we are going to look at it at 18 degrees apart. So in doing that, I'm going to mark 18, 18 here. So this is 18. So plus another 18, that will give us 36. So I'll mark 36. Plus another 18, that will be 54. So I'll mark 54. Plus another 18, that's 72. So plus another 18, that's 90. Plus 18, that's 108. So this is 108. Plus another 18, that's 126. 144. So I'm just adding 18 to it. So 144 plus 18, that's 162. So 162 plus 18, that's 180. So having done that, I can take off the protractor. Now I'll number this point. Not how I'm numbering. I'll be starting from here to number it. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. So we've been able to divide it into 10. So what you are going to do at this stage is you are going to bring your ruler and join draw a line to the semicircle that will also from point 2. So once you place your ruler on point um, on point A and where you have point 2. So this is where we are having point 2. This is point 2 here. So, so since uh, the distance from point A to point 2 is more than 4 cm, so just draw a line of 4 cm. This, the line which also be from point um, same with point 2 on the same line with point 2 but just measure 4 cm. So from point A this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. That, that 4 cm will be touching the semicircle. So in other words I can just say just the same line from this point A to point 2 but just draw the line to touch the semicircle. I hope that is clear. So now this let's call this point C. 
Now this line AC represents an, uh, the second side of the decagon. Remember that's what we are dealing with decagon. Let me write it here. Decagon. And this is method two. This is method two. So now we've gotten two sides. The next thing we have to do is we are going to bring in our compass again. So let me confirm if my compass is still on four centimeter because that's the length of the side that we are using. So still on four centimeter, you bring in your your compass and you are going to bisect line A B and line C A. But I'm going to be starting with line A B. So I'll place it on point B. Draw an arc at the top and draw it below. Place it on point A. Draw an arc at the top. And below so from their point of intersection so this is the point of intersection I'm going to draw a line like this so what I've done to line a B I'll repeat the same thing to line C A so from point A draw an arc like this on the other side the same thing go to point C draw an arc like this now their point of intersection again I'm going to join them together so I'll join it together like this so you are going to be having something like this now let's note the point of intersection of these two lines so their point of intersection is right here so let me call that point point O now that point of intersection represents the center of the decagon so what we are going to do is we are going to bring our compass you place it on point O and adjust it to point A. So you are going to be having something like this from point O to point A. So with that you are going to draw a circle. You are going to draw a circle. So the next thing is you bring back your ruler and your compass. You measure the length of the side of the uh, of the decagon which is four centimeter so we measure the four centimeter again so make sure your measurements are accurate so that you can have a good result so with that four centimeter you are going to place it on point B and with that you are going to mark it on this on the circle like this so where you mark it on the circle you go there you place your compass again you're going to mark it on the circle where you have it marked so you are going to repeat it around the circle so like I said you have to make sure that you have everything is accurate make sure your measurement is accurate and when you are placing it on this line that is touching the circumference of the circle where you are marking it make sure your compass is properly on the point of intersection that means where you demand the line is marking or touching the circle So now, what we can, what we'll do next is to join all those points together. So from point B to this. So I'm going to be using bold line because that's the decagon we are having here. So this, all these lines I'm drawing represent the side of the decagon, and they will be of four centimeter, which I'm going to be confirming that because we are still going to be measuring them. So you join the sides. So after joining all the sides, this is what you are going to be having. So if you measure all the sides, you are going to be having it as four centimeter like you're having it. So let's call this point point C D E F G H I. So so if you just pick the size and measure it like what you're having here, because this is four centimeter, you know, four centimeter, then this side four centimeter, all around four centimeter. So this is the second method of drawing a decagon. This is method two. So method two, drawing a decagon where you are giving the length of the side. So uh, I also want to know in the comment section below between this method one and method two. So if I say if you miss the method one, I will leave a link to it in the description of this video. Let me know which one do you find more easier, which one do you think is more simple and more easy to do. I also want to know in the 
comment section below is it method one or method two so if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up if you are yet to subscribe to pa academy the subscribe button is just below this video please click on it. it's absolutely free to subscribe i also leave a link to other regular polygon in, uh, in case you want to know how to draw that regular polygon maybe the pentagon hexagon heptagon all other polygon when you are given the length of the side i'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video and if you are interested in getting some of these uh, technical and engineering drawing tools i'm going to leave a link to where you can get them in the description of this video there are a lot of helpful things that i do leave in the description of my videos so with that guys i'm going to see you all in another video thank you very much for watching